Leader Volodymyr Zelensky struck a cautiously optimistic note over ongoing peace talks with Russia in a Wednesday video address. It is difficult but important as any war ends with an agreement. The meetings continue and I am informed the positions during the negotiations already sound more realistic. On Tuesday, Prime Ministers of the Czech Republic, Poland and Slovenia arrived in Kyiv. The first visit from foreign leaders since the crisis began. We are also here to tell you that you're not alone. Your fight is our fight and together we will prevail. Slava Ukraini. Glory to Ukraine, said Slovenia's Prime Minister Janez Jensa. The leaders arrived in the city hours after local authorities reported a deadly Russian airstrike. They reported bombardments that hit the capital before dawn and killed at least five people. Russia denies targeting civilians. Moscow has not captured any of Ukraine's 10 biggest cities since it invaded last month, seeding hope among Ukrainian officials who say the war could end sooner than expected. A possible point of compromise may be NATO. Zelensky said earlier Ukraine was prepared to accept security guarantees from the West that stopped short of its long-term goal of joining NATO. Russia sees any possibility of Ukraine joining NATO as a threat and has demanded guarantees it will never be a member. Also late on Tuesday, the White House announced that US President Joe Biden will make his first visit to Europe since Russia invaded to discuss the crisis. Biden is expected to announce an additional $800 million in security assistance to Ukraine. That's according to a White House official. Russia calls its actions a special military operation to demilitarize and denazify Ukraine. Ukraine and Western allies call this a baseless pretext for a war of choice. Nine out of ten Ukrainians could be plunged into poverty if the war drags on, the UN has warned. Many residents are still sheltering from repeated Russian bombing, including Mariupol, the location of the worst humanitarian crisis where people are desperate for food and water. Ukraine's vice president confirmed that a convoy with supplies for the city had been hit at a nearby port. The UN says that just over 3 million people have now fled Ukraine. And according to a Monday estimate, over 600 civilians have been killed. Journalists on the ground have also lost their lives.